My experience in RDR2. It's an open world game that leans toward exploration, hunting, and robbery. The missions are full of action and unexpected twists. With this game, you want to take your time. If you race from one mission to the next, the game's going to be less entertaining. If you're thinking that you will be bored with all the exploring, you won't. There's random encounters, side quest, hunting quest, bounty hunters, and much more. So much that you might forget about the main mission. It also has two parts, Arthur's in the beginning. Then John's, there are multiple endings. It's kind of a survival scavenging game, but the punishments for not eating, sleeping, and weather aren't harsh enough to me. Your cores will drain, making you easier to kill, but you won't actually die from the elements and not eating. I personally think they should have when all out on the survival by making you eat, susceptible to weather, get sick for things you do, and etc. You can decorate with animal skins around camp and craft a variety of ammo. You can have an entire outfit made of skins, including gun belt, holsters, and saddles. The gameplay there is so much to do, fishing, hunting, treasure hunting, robbing trains, banks, people, stagecoaches, and then there's the main and side missions. The random encounters are more interesting than you might think. Some led into their own side stories. Others give you information on where to find a big score. The world around changes the longer you play. Best way to see that is in Valentine, where a father is building a house with his sons. Hunting is a big part of the game. You can hunt your way. I prefer to use the bow and the varmint rifle there. All I really need as long as you craft the different arrows. Plus, if you're like me and don't care to have a whole lot of guns to cycle through, there are legendary animals and fish. But the hardest hunt is the hunter's sought poster found in train stations. There is an animal that can one-shot kill you, and it's the big cats. So use extreme caution when near one if you see it first. Another big part of the game is making money, which sound easier than it is. Ammo is cheap, but it adds up. Outfit, guns, and camp supplies are not cheap, neither is customizing them. There are a variety of things to find from gold, dreamcatcher, carvings, and plenty of Easter eggs, like a ghost train and a robot. Some horses are better than others. I believe male horses get scared and buck you off more than females. Also, watch out for cliffs. Sometimes the horse won't stop. As far as saddles go, I think the panther saddle you craft is the best. The random action-packed events that you can run into like other gang camps, military posts, and if you keep a bounty, you will be hunted by bounty hunters who will find you at the most inconvenient times, making the exploration more exciting, keeping you from getting bored. I would highly recommend getting this game. There's plenty of replay value here, and you might find mission you've missed the first time. Like, comment, and subscribe.